True. Very, very good. Mr. Saturn, iconic. Deserves to be there. I just like the colors. <laughs> All right, we are getting in the game. I didn't see the stage. It was PS2 because of the music. You called it. Whoa. Whoa. And all right, so Jackal is gonna be running into Starvis. Yep. Oh, oh, that would have been really nice if uh, F Smash, F Smash or Down Smash could have worked there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, just starting out this match, you know, it was going like, hard. yeah, just was like first 15 j seconds, Jackal was going. Yeah. Really Jackal's far in. insane. Wait a minute. Well, on the side, be all. Oh, if that was the sweet spot, I would have killed. And the Phantom. And that's like almost a zero death. Like, Jackal's only taking 24%. Yeah, like 20 seconds and just already gotten the kill. And what we thought was maybe going to be like a slower matchup. Yeah, these two, but I definitely expected there to be more zoning yeah. going on. Unfortunate. But, uh, this is a possible three stock. Yeah, unfortunate air dodge from Chacho. Gonna lose that stock to an SD. Yeah. And now Jackal just has all the momentum this game. And here's the edge burn. The nice thing about Zelda is if you hit her when she's charging her phantom, she loses the phantom. Yep. So if he does try to do it as like a cover up option for off stage, he can get uh he can get under. Yeah. Jackal's gonna go for that up B on stage reposition. Oh, another attraction that we might see is um I think he can get fire procs on the phantom. So oh, Jackal does it? has a uh, phantom like out, but he hits swing it but it didn't hit and he hits it with big fire and he hits on fire. Okay. And Jackal's dash it forward. So that could be something uh that goes into play, but it looks like Chacho's just trying to get his bearings. Like he probably has accepted this game is gonna be really hard to win. So. Yeah, he has been playing Garibald on this last talk, though. Yeah, exactly. He's only gotten hit once or twice. So. He's probably going into game two with like a mentality of okay, I won't mess up again. Yeah. If game two even like this is still fine. Like he hasn't gotten hit in a yeah, while. Yeah, I mean, there's the stock and I mean Zelda is like one of the slowest characters in the game and she doesn't really have huge moves, so like actually being able to catch up to Ness is very hard. Oh, so this is dangerous though. Yeah, it is. The down B not coming out just yeah. fast enough, and so Jackal gonna take that game one of a nice edge guard to finish it. It's always sad when you see like the startup of your moves that would have saved yeah. your life, but then it didn't come out. And that was that scenario. What? Oh, that's a jackal. Not the only Zelda here today. We also have really? Kyushi Sama coming. Okay. Um, I only know that because I saw him in the chess bracket. Yeah, <laughs> But yeah, got a little bit of representation of that character. You don't see elsewhere. Yeah. We're gonna run it back to PS2. I don't think the stage was really. Yeah. There was definitely the uh, second stock SD that was a problem. So. Second stock SD and just getting ran down on that first stock. This is the true game one if you really think about it. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how Chacho adapts to how Jackal is playing. Jackal is playing very aggressive. Yeah, that was the most aggressive I've ever seen Jackal play. Yeah. But Chacho immediately just standing there waiting, waiting for the yep. He's like, okay, let's see what happens. Oh, but there's that reflector. That is going to be such a good option. Yeah, that, it, it cuts off PK fire. It cuts off PK fire and it works as a get off mutual finesse is getting too close. Oh, and nice PK thunder into up there. Didn't get much more, yeah. but that's totally fine. Like Zelda's kind of floating, so you will just be able to get those two pieces on her instead of both combos. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if we're ever going to see Chacha go for that one, but it would be very interesting. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see, but it can be risky because if you whip it, you are taking the full charge fan on possible. Oh, yeah. Now, Chacha uh, getting Chacha off stage is going to go for a yo-yo recovery. Doesn't get it. I think Jackal could also be doing this um, when he has those kind of chases on the platform. There we go. Oh, well, no chat for us. No chat. Mm, sorry, chat, if you hear us. Jackal took a sock, though. Oh, let's go, Jackal. I didn't see. But... Uh, it was a dash tech at ledge. That but, makes uh, sense. 140, Chacho should be able to make it back. And I really like how Jack's been recovering around the yo yo going on stage a lot. Although Grand and Yo-Yo is just weird, that Legend teleport recovery sometimes, so... Yeah, it really is. Like, mo both times that he's actually hit the Yo-Yo at Legend, he hasn't gotten the full hit, he's yeah. only like, one hit of it. And, uh, Jackal, we saw it again there. He went for, in game one, to get that first lock, but the down air reset on the platforms. Josh, we're getting a nice tech chase on the platform for, like, the up air, a little chip. Nice chip. 4% leaper trap for now. He yeah. does have the advantage of being able to heal in this matchup. Yeah, he does. Which is something that Jack will Only, not only against side B, though. Yeah. Or his own PK fire. Mm -hmm. okay. I like that. That was like a nice, yeah. safe retreat from the failed the, uh, fire attempt. Yeah, he had the option to like uh, retreating or just getting the hit, depending on what Jack nice did. Nice little combo, though. Uh, Jack got the teleport into down B. Yeah, now 
a bit of an even game. Josh Andrews got Jackal off stage again. I like reflecting the LP to try and make it back. Yeah, especially because it's, it's somewhat of an air stall too, so it does yep. just help you recover. There's no reason to not go for that, unless Ness is like running at you trying to edge guard you. Yeah, and the teleport completely. Oh, he could have gotten a grab there. He could have. I was a little scared of that. He died from dash damage. Yeah, bad DI. If it has to be to bad DI, yeah. He was not a kill move like that. He was probably holding a card in. Ooh, but not respecting the range of Phantom. That is a massive range. Yeah. You have to go around it. So back to even game on the last stock. Jackal looking to close out. Move on to his winner's round two. And yeah. Chacho already getting a nice lead on this last stock though. 80% yeah. already. And, yeah, and with Jackal off stage, Chacho gonna look at look to close out now. Yeah, Chacho respecting the teleport this time, shielding when Jackal recovered, which I think was smart because it gave him less in the middle lag. Mm -hmm. This should be a backyard of shield, but he let go too early. I think he um he let go and tried to turn around or something. Because uh, it looked like he was turned around. Like yeah, maybe. Yeah. But another back air, PK Thunder, gonna get reflected, but the yo yo, and another good recovery from Jackal. And we are getting close to the percent of back air. I don't know if I agree with that. Back throw uh, is probably gonna kill soon. And there's the heal. Right, that's 20% the heal? Yeah. Because it doesn't have the um, the double modifier where it makes it worse, right. so it's just a lot of heal. Yeah. You have to respect that in this match. You and can't just press your side Yeah, right now we're seeing more of what we kind of expected this matchup to be. Yeah. This is what I expected. Back air kills cross H? Maybe. Not no, quite. Okay. Yeah. I that would next one will. Forward throw in there. Next one will. Yeah. And the up oh, Rob Yeah. Up. Yeah, very, all right, very good adaptations from Chacho that game. You gotta make it up for uh, an unfortunate game one with the SD. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, honestly, both players are playing this matchup pretty well and adapting to each other. I agree. I think um, maybe Jackal needs to tone down his uh, side B usage a little bit. But um, other than that, like he's been doing really good with Phantoms. He's mm -hmm. been, uh, especially in the beginning of game one, I was really impressed with his aggression. I didn't think he was even capable of doing that. Yeah, I mean, but, um, his recovery's been very good this set too. Mm -hmm. He's certainly been playing around the yo-yo at ledge very, very well. Yeah. Which could prompt uh, Chacho to start mixing up the way that he ledge traps as well, but Ness has not a lot of other threatening options except for just like standing there and reading. Yeah. Something I appreciate that Jackal's doing um, as well, which is completely outside of the game, is uh, he changes his skin every game. <laughs> which is something that I think more people should do. Because there's a lot of nice skins in this game, especially if you're on a character that like they don't change their whole look, they just change like, their dress or something. Yeah. It's really cool. That, like, people that be a mentality thing for some players. Yeah, I know some people like Bayo change players. how they play when they change their skin. Um, the most notable one that like actually is like active right now is uh, Sonic does that. Allegedly yeah. Bayo players always do it too. Allegedly, yes. In Smash 4 is more powerful. Yeah. Talking about skins, I like that. Yeah, Jackal taking advantage of seeing Chacho kind of doing that PK Thunder and just gonna teleport through any pressure to give a second hit. Yeah, Chacho realizing that um, it does not have the best for responding to impression when you're right on top of her, so getting a little bit more in there by the air. Yeah, and there it is that you mentioned uh, in game one, I think. The, yeah, on the fucking with the Phantom. It's a really nice option because it makes it so that um, Zelda can't dash more than the ground, so she's forced to jump, you know what she's gonna do. Or she just can't punish you. Yeah. I like the attempt, but... <laughs> I don't know if I like staling your uh, attack for her. I would have definitely like up thrown or something. Yeah, just maybe just the down throw. But Jackal's gonna do the raw turnaround F back. Yeah. Try to go for another one. Yeah, he really wants that dash back F back. He does. It is a good option. Yeah. It's like not very punishable, but it's also... If you whiff, you wasted the time. You could have been like, setting the ledge trap. Trying, yeah, that yo-yo just not working. And I think Chacha needs to like change up how he ledge trap him. Oh, but he's playing around these, uh, really well. Yeah. He's keeping out of the range of them. He's healing off of the side. He's jackal dust from behind them. And that Nair is finally into Jackal's first block. And now Chacho is very solid in the It's difficult. It was the same thing I was uh, talking about with Sorry Snake. Is like, when you're behind as that character that's supposed to keep people out, it's kind of hard to come back because you can't run in. Mm -hmm. And I think... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I like the attempt for the upper and the upbeat, but... Not gonna find it, but Zelda does have some strong uh, sweet spots like that back air. Yep. And Jackal gonna return the stun. That's a small character, not as easy to land the Fairing Bear on, but it is still possible. Yeah. Alright, the neutral B to cover B with. Jackal was very prepared for that there to yeah. actually connect with and, uh, his uh, And we're starting to see a bit more of what we saw in game one. Jackal's starting to play a lot more aggressive on this second slot here. 
I liked the idea behind that PK Thunder on stage, but I don't like the execution. I think he should have, like, tried to hit himself with it instead of just going for back when he realized it was going to work. Yeah. It can be hard to just get the reaction that quick, though, sometimes. Oh, yeah. Panic Air Dodge. Yeah, the jab, uh, but back tackle. Tackle. also expended too many resources before the air dodge happened. The dash by Kefsmash not going to find him. Chacho, uh, this whole game and the last game, so, uh, been playing a lot more defensive. And but even so, like, it's been working, but Zelda's in her zone now. She's just going to start spamming those projectiles at ledge. Yeah, this is the cycle. You can't stay on ledge against Zelda either. You have to get off so she gets her free ledge trap off. Yeah, Chacho a little too slow on making a decision at ledge and not covering him. Unfortunately, Chacho's been too... He's been conditioned to not try the yo-yo anymore because it just never yeah. works. Except for the end of the second game, so, you know, maybe, maybe he should keep going. But Chacho hasn't been hit on this last stock yet, so if he does take Jackal's stock now, it is still very winnable. I mean, even if he does get hit. Yeah, and the time's fine, too. Like, they're just under four minutes. I think he has no reason to rush yeah. himself. He can still take things slow and go the pace that he needs to actually secure the stock that he can get. Back there, just barely not killing, but the next one absolutely should, if he can get one. If he can get one at ledge, so the cross stage might not. The Dodge Rush did kill, so now it's basically an even game on the last stock. Yeah. It all comes down to... Uh, if Chacho can bring it back before he gets any more chips in the zone. Yeah, and I like uh, Jackal kind of exploding those side beats early. He's realizing that uh, Chacho wants to uh, down beat him. I like that magnet stall, the double cancel magnet, because it made it so he can land a safe near on Jackal and make him with punishment. Yep. Chacho getting the dash attack and barely gets out of his PK Thunder animation quick enough and gets the grab back though. And now Chacho, 85%, just could be a killing edge guard. Break the phantom of so that is I think if he went out, that would have killed. I don't know if it would have killed this early, but very, very close at the very least. I yeah. think Jackal would know better than he would if that was yeah. going to go there. He has been so this character. Ooh, so that one's killed, that though. That one, though, ledge. Yup, that's going to be 2-1 for Jackal. A very Game close set. Last hit. That's a good set for winners on one. Mm -hmm. I really like Flatter's how... Flatter's on stream. Flatter's on stream. I really like how uh, Chacho... Because we didn't see it in the first game, just because we didn't have a chance, it was so fast. Mm -hmm. But like, in games two and three, we really saw like he started using PK Thunder on Sage more to like play more defensive. To mm -hmm. like he got bodied by like Jack playing Rushdown back game one. Yeah. So maybe just mind like, all right, I'll just PK Thunder on Sage the whole time. Yeah. Not on let you approach. That, it also it's better than PK Fire for Zone because you can go around the Phantom, so it doesn't mm -hmm. get like caught out as you're trying to use it. So it's really nice. But uh, unfortunately, adaptations were not enough. It wasn't ready for the up to spam. In, yeah. Um, at, in the last stock situation, when you're not really sure what Zelda's gonna do to you, uh, it's not the easiest to not die to that. So. Yeah, I like how Jack was using the Epi to like get past the PK Thunder sometimes mm -hmm. too. It was very very good. Yeah. So now. We're gonna get looking behind me. Sticks are versus Brayden. Ooh, the hot children. Set, set. <laughs> They're both participating in two battle later. The children, the children. versus the garden. Um, I don't think either of these players know what a blockbuster is. I know Brayden doesn't because I've asked him before. Probably but... not, which is so sad. <laughs> I, <wouldn't... laughs> I know. I think I think I might be ten years older than him, not Brayden. He might be. I might be. I think he's fifteen. If he's 15, no, he's, he's one year younger than me. Oh. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, he's a child. And, um, he is a not. child. <laughs> That's my point. <laughs> Sixers also a child. Look how young they are. <laughs> Lucas versus Mario. This is interesting. It is. There's like Kate at play, but also the flood will be really good to stop his recovery as well. Yeah, that messes uh, up the timing. Kate again, really good with it. But I, I okay. Sixer does, but he turns off uh, his D pad. And this is my third match here. Oh, yeah, that's smart <laughs> for mashing. I like that. No taunting. <laughs> no taunting. Uh, I do think that uh, Lucas Fair is going to be a really good tool in this matchup, though, because of Disjoint and just the overall range it has over Mario. Mario yeah. is like a stubby character that has a great punish game, but his neutral can suffer against characters with good disjoints. Yeah, between, uh, as well as PK Fire, like, Lucas PK Fire is, like, a lot faster, like, yeah. once the actual projectile comes out. Yeah. It's slower startup, I think, but the projectile is faster. Well, they do both have to be ready for all those interactions with projectiles. Yeah, I think, like you were saying, the fair, as well as PK Fire, uh, can maybe keep Brain out of it, but... I think this match is going to be decided by, uh, if... Stixer can keep up with the punishes that Brayden gets. Mm -hmm. And so also, Lucas 